So I'm going to have her come over here and prepare eggnog. And y'all, look at this animation. Oh, is that? Hold on. Tom, you have got to be kidding me right now. Y'all. <laughs> what's up y'all welcome back to my channel and if you are new here welcome in if you are new here my name is ashley if you are returning welcome back friends so today's video is a little different from what i'm used to uploading i was kind of going back and forth with myself about doing this kind of video because i feel like this video has been done millions of times and i don't really know how much new information i'm gonna share with you i feel like it's all been covered but at the same time, when I put up episodes of Brooklyn Tales and The Black Widow, I always get questions on the different functional items I use in my LPs. So, alas, here we are. So this sim right here on the screen is Corvette Jalil, aka Pinky Bliss. She is my influencer sim and she's going to be my model for this video. You guys will more than likely see Pinky in upcoming episodes of Brooklyn Tales because this is Charlie's auntie. And can I just say I'm completely obsessed with the way she turned out. So much so that I feel like I want to do a spinoff LP about her life. I have not decided yet so don't quote me but I am kind of sort of leaning towards that way. But anyways, this is not what the video is about. Let's jump right into the first item. So the first item I wanna show you guys is this little stun gun by Sepsid. And by the way, all of these items will be linked in the description box down below. So like I was saying, this stun gun is by Sepsid. You guys have not seen me use it yet, but it is something I've used in the past. So let me show you how it works. So Pinky is gonna have to put this in her inventory. And the reason why I'm starting with this item first is because her brother is actually here and we need a second person to demonstrate this <laughs> so because the stun gun is in her inventory she is going to get an option to stun lamont so she can either stun him or quick stun him i'm going to go ahead and stun lamont and please forgive me lamont because this is her brother and i feel so terrible doing this but we need another person to help us demonstrate this hopefully he don't get mad oh Okay, so this is exactly what it looks like when you stun another sim. I feel like this is a good alternative to extreme violence or resorting to fighting. Especially if you have like Tom and Tina peeping in your game or if you have a sim that lives alone and wants to protect themselves. Also, if you have burglars in your game that like to break in your sim's house at night, like in my game, <laughs> this stun gun comes in handy. And I promise you he is not D-E-A-D. He's just going to have to lay there for a while. Eventually, he'll get up. When he gets up, you're going to see that he's going to be dazed and you'll probably see a little bit of smoke surrounding his body. All right, so he's finally up. And as you can see, he is very much dazed. And I don't know if you can see it because it's very, very faint, but he does have smoke surrounding him. So this is what will happen to your Sims if you do stun them. So the next functional item on my list I want to touch on is this mini Nutri Bullet, also known as the Mini Blender by QMBB. I get so many questions about this Nutri Bullet. You guys know my Sims use it all the time. So let me show you the different options you have with this Nutri Bullet. Actually, let me change my G shade because girl, I cannot see none of these options. Hold on. All right, that's a lot better. So you can make a protein shake. You can also make a smoothie. I typically have my Sims make protein shakes when they're about to work out. So under protein shake, you have caramel, chocolate, mocha, Oreo, strawberry, vanilla. And then under smoothies, avocado, coconut, coconut, banana, elderberry, blueberry, mango, coconut, passion fruit, banana, strawberry, banana, strawberry, blackberry, and triple berry smoothie. So I'm going to have her come in here and make an avocado coconut smoothie so you guys can see what it looks like. So I had to move this blender onto a different counter just so she can get to it. Please note that if you download this blender, you need to make sure that it is centered in the middle of the counter. I've seen so many people download this blender and say it does not work for me. The reason why it doesn't work is it needs to be in the center of the counter. If it is not in the center of the counter, you will only get the option to put it in your inventory. So once the smoothie is finished, it does automatically go into her inventory. So this is what the smoothie looks like. I'm gonna have her go ahead and drink this. Girl, where you going? Come pick up the smoothie. We did not make this for no reason. <laughs> I absolutely positively love this mini blender. 
I highly suggest checking out QMBB if you haven't already. I feel like most people already have, <laughs> but if you haven't, please do. So the next item on my list is another item by QMBB. It is this little salad bowl here. With this salad bowl, you can make a variety of salads. So let me show you what the options are. You have English garden salad, green apple salad, grilled shrimp salad, macaroni salad, late summer pasta salad, spinach and strawberry salad, grilled steak salad with eggs and tomatoes, fruit salad, chopped salad. There are some more options, but because she's only cooking level two, we can only see up to level two. But just know that QMBB does offer quite a bit of variety of salads with this salad bowl. So once she's done drinking her smoothie, I'm going to have her make a late summer pasta salad, which is one of my favorites. And we're going to do a single serving. So our girl is over here making her salad. If you guys watch my LPs, then you know that most of the food my Sims cook comes from QMBB. An honorable mention here is the Stirring the Pot cookbook. I didn't include the cookbook in this video, but just know that most of the food Brooklyn makes in my Brooklyn Tales LP comes from Stirring the Pot. So this is how the late summer pasta came out. It definitely reminds me of those pasta salads you would get going to a barbecue in the summertime. So I absolutely love, love, love this salad bowl because it gives you a variety of salads you can make. So this next item I want to mention has been around five ever. It is the Ravachine Diffuser. And I literally put in every single build I have. Your Sim can basically diffuse essential oils and they do have some different options they can choose from. So you have evocative lemon, invigorating cinnamon, peaceful patchouli, romantic sandalwood, sharpening saffron, soothing sage, window peeping configuration. Somebody peeping in a window. Who peeping in the window? child now where was he when we were testing out the stun gun the jokes write themselves at this point because what <laughs> hold on let me handle time real quick and i'll be right back that's right pinky put him right to sleep because we don't got time for peeping times over here period anyways back to what we were doing i'm gonna have her go ahead and diffuse some romantic sandalwood she can also smell the aroma, and when she does, she's actually going to get a buff from it. So as you can see, it says essential oil scent, the aroma, the pleasantries. Essential oils can ease stress, brighten your day, energize it more. So this is very helpful if you have a stressed out sim and you want to change their mood. I highly, highly, highly recommend getting this diffuser by Ravachine. So the next item I want to talk about is this little drink tray right here. I believe it's by Somik and Severinka. I hope I'm saying that right. But basically your Sims can serve drinks on this one tray. So when you click on it, you can click serve drinks and then you get a whole bunch of different options. You have champagne, martinis, cocktails, soft drinks, various drinks. Let's see what else we have. More martinis more champagne, more wines, beers. So you have so many different options to choose from. I like to use this during parties because I think it's so cute to have your Sims drink fancy drinks during their parties. So I'm gonna have her come over here and fill this up with martinis with olives, just so you can see what it looks like. Girl, get over here and stop watching TV. <laughs> like, look at it. How freaking cute is this? And the olives in the cup are just chef's kiss. It's so realistic, because let's face it, when you're having parties, do you really hire a bartender every time? More than likely, you're buying a bottle. So I absolutely love everything about this drink tray. All right, we are on to the next one. So this item here is also by Somik and Severinka, and it is also drink related. It is a shot glass holder. So again, if you have a Sim who is having a party, they can serve shots on this shot glass holder. So I'm going to have Pinky come over here and serve drinks in shots. And we can do the drink doll and see what that looks like. Oh, child, the sound of the fire scared me. <laughs> but these look so good, though. Go ahead, take a shot, girl. Not pinky, a lightweight. <laughs> Anyways, if you want to add some more cute drinks to your game, I highly suggest downloading this shot glass holder. So the next item on this list is again by SNS. It is this eggnog bowl. And child, y'all probably like Pinky is an alcoholic. <laughs> I promise you she's not. That's probably why she didn't like the shot that she just took. 
But anyways, I think this is so cute for holidays. So I'm gonna have her come over here and prepare eggnog. And y'all, look at this animation. Oh, is that? Hold on. Tom, you have got to be kidding me right now. Y'all, I gotta get rid of him. I gotta get rid of him. Hold on, I'll be right back. That is the second time he interrupted me. Anyways, look at this animation. She is actually making the eggnog. I'm so freaking obsessed. And watch how cute it comes out when she finishes. Y'all, look at how it came out. I'm gonna have her go ahead and grab a drink so you can see what it looks like in her hands. This is like the perfect CC item to put in your game, especially if you have Sims that are celebrating Winterfest, AKA Christmas. I feel like it's such a good addition to add to your holiday parties. All right, y'all, the next item on the list is this little fondue kit, also by SNS. I probably should have mentioned that a lot of these functional items are food related and drink related. This fondue kit is by SNS, and you can make some bread and cheese, meat and cheese, and chocolate and strawberries. When she finished drinking her eggnog, I'm gonna have her come over here and make some chocolate and strawberries, just so you guys can see what it looks like. So right now, she's melting the chocolate. Once it's done, she'll be able to grab a serving. Oh my God, my poor baby is so drunk. <laughs> she done had a martini, a shot, some eggnog. Child, I'm so sorry. <laughs> All right, so it looks like everything is all done. She can go ahead and grab a serving. And y'all get into this. They really did their thing on this. Like, look at it. And is that bananas on the plate? That looks so good. Child, I got this poor girl working out after she done ate and drank all those alcoholic beverages. The next few items I wanna showcase are these exercise machines. They are by Sim Realist. And it is their Flow Fit collection. I'm not even sure if this is all the items that come in the pack, but is he in the house again? Stop it. Stop it. Y'all, why does that man keep coming back here? Anyway, <laughs> child, I forgot what I was saying. Oh yeah, so I'm not even sure if this is all of the exercise machines that come in the kit, but here are some of the items that came in the kit. So you have this rower here, you have this treadmill. Um, I forgot what this is called, I think it's a summit. And then you have this elliptical and all of these items are functional. I can't say enough how sometimes I get really, really tired of the exercise machines that come with the game. So this is definitely a great addition to your game. So the last item I wanna showcase is this jump rope right here. I believe it's by Ozzy Sims. Again, everything will be linked in the description box. So with this jump rope, your Sim can either jump solo, jump with someone, or jump double dutch. I'm gonna go ahead and have her jump solo, and then I'll invite some of her friends over and show you what it looks like with other Sims. All right, so this is what it looks like when she is jumping solo. Do bear in mind that the higher the fitness skill, the better your Sims will jump. So if you download this and your sim is jumping rope and they continue to stop and then start and then stop and then start, it is because probably their fitness skill is not high enough. So it gives it that element of realism because in real life, if your stamina is not up there, you are gonna stop because you're gonna get winded. So this is what the animation looks like when she's jumping with someone. I think this is so cute. And it's also a good way for multiple sims to bond and also build up their fitness skill at the same time. And lastly, this is what it looks like when they're jumping double dutch together. And y'all have no idea how happy this makes me. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but I played double dutch so much when I was a kid. So this is feeling very nostalgic to me. I know the kids today don't be doing stuff like this. They be on their iPads, they be on TikTok. But me, I was playing double dutch, okay? It was to the point where my mother had to nag me to come into the house because I always wanted to be outside with my friends playing double dutch. <laughs> So it makes me so happy that I'm able to put a little piece of my childhood into my game. But anyways, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like for me to do a part two to this video. I know this video has been done so many times, so I really don't know how you guys are feeling about me doing videos like this. <laughs> so your feedback is greatly appreciated. So with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye, y'all.
Child, it's the way I'm trying to take a thumbnail photo and look at who walk up in the house. 